Comparing two digit numbers using symbols, we're going to use dominoes. So here we have four tens, three ones, four tens, three ones, and I write it like that so students understand the value and concept of 43. It has four tens. Two ten zero forms 20. Two ten zero has two tens. That has less amount than 43. It is only going to get one dot. 43 is greater value than 20, so it receives two dots. Now what I just did is I gave the symbol mathematical meaning. So as you practice that, you can take this to a warm up in your classroom when students understand the concept of that symbol and you could have a foam mat. So now what we're doing is we are going to turn over two cards and we wanna know which is greater than and less than. So here we go, eight is greater than two and I'm constantly using that language. This is just a very quick warm up to practice this concept. Two ten, or I'm sorry, two and nine. Two is that does not work. So we have to make this work. And using that language, what do we do? What do we need to do to make this work in class? When you're doing this whole class, is fantastic. So nine is greater than two. Now this is two digit numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn over two cards this time. And I'll ask my students, is 24 greater than 87? Is that true? It is not true. We'll ask why, because 24 has two tens and 87 only has eight tens. So now I'm going to change my question to not is 24 greater than, how can we move these digits around so that we have a number that's greater than or less than? So they students may simply just say, switch the tens. That leads into great conversation of why did that make that work? Here we have eight tens. Here we only have two tens. Eight tens is, has more, is more value because it's worth 80 and so forth. Now, you can also ask students, well, what happens if I also do this? Is this still true? Is this still true? Is this still true? So use this as a warm up of um, creating it uh, just a real fun warm up activity. You can ask students here we have 5101, 51, 5103, 53. They both have 50. So what do we do next? And this helps us go into place value. Also, how many uh, 51 is less than 53? How many less? You can get questions like that in and so forth. All right. So this is another way to use greater than less than. You also can flip it over. You can do less than greater than. Maybe you wanna use dice today. And you might wanna say, okay, make a true statement. So now students can be writing on their whiteboards a true statement. 22 is less than 43. Who wrote the same true statement? You can say, is this still true? Is this still true? Who wrote this one? So it's very, very open-ended. I think dice, and for me, for this, was harder to see. So I like cards. Is this still a true statement? We just go through the same process. How do we make it, um, how do we make it true? Is that true? So we're really engaging students and give it, giving them um, engagement and part of this process and being able to, to justify why this is or is not correct, which is mathematical practice number three. Enjoy.